Hey everyone. I decided I wanted to do something a little different today, so I went outside and I'm just kind of wandering around. You'll have to forgive the waddling because I'm walking on grass and it's a little uneven. I just wanted to talk today about uh, emotional eating. I know for some people that just sounds stupid. It doesn't sound real, but honestly, if you think about it, it actually is. Think about it. If, uh, you know, say you know somebody that graduates from high school or, you know, gets a degree or something like that, a lot of times, what do you end up doing? You end up going out to eat. Okay. If uh, you've ever watched any romantic comedies, what ends up happening when, you know, the girl is dumped by the guy at the beginning of the movie? She goes and gets a bunch of ice cream and sits down and it looks like she's going to eat it all. Emotional eating is something that is very difficult, I think, for some people to deal with. It's difficult for me. There have been things that have been going on uh, for me over the last several days where I've wanted to just say, you know what, forget it all. I'm just going to go and grab a hamburger, some fries, and a big old drink, and just forget all of this. That's something you got to work on. You know, as you're, what I would recommend, honestly, is think about what it is that could trigger you to want to emotionally eat. You know, uh, is it when you get mad, when you're sad, when you get upset? What is it that could, you know, honestly set you off and want to go and grab something. Sometimes I think for some people it's a little difficult to, to figure, to figure it out. Cause you know, for me, honestly, for many years, it was anything I was doing. It didn't really seem to matter. You know, I could, uh, I could be out with friends just celebrating something, eat. You know, I could be at home bored, eat. Didn't matter. So there's always gonna be something that could set you off. So my recommendation is figure them out and write them out. And as you start going forward with, with, uh, with carnivore or just with weight loss in general, make sure that you work on seeing those things coming. You know, if you know, if, if, if it's something that somebody says to you or, you know, if it's, uh, you know, like a, maybe it's a certain person at work that just gets you, gets you all riled up or whatever it is, you know, start, uh, work on seeing that ahead of time. And I really hope with the wind that, that my microphone's not going nuts. Um, work on trying to see that ahead of time so that when that person does come up, and starts mouthing off or starts saying stuff to you to, to get you to feel like garbage again, work on overcoming. You know, I, believe me, I know that sounds simple. I, it, it does, but it's hard. It really is. And you've got to work on being prepared for that kind of stuff. And I think if you do, because on, honestly, once you do it the first time, you're going to feel awesome. And then you can do it again. And then do it again. And the more that it happens, the better off you're going to feel. And things are going to be a lot better. I promise. I know it sounds, you know, it, it may sound silly. It may sound dumb. But emotional eating is, is a real thing. So anyway, I just wanted to just, uh, just put this together real quick and just talk about that. Um, I tell you what, why don't you, if you're up for it, why don't you put in the comments down below what gets you, what, I hate to use this word, but what triggers you when it comes to emotional eating? What is it? And if you want, let's discuss it. Again, I'm not a doctor, I'm not a shrink, nothing like that, but let's, uh, 
Let's figure that stuff out. And you know, I'm trying to I'm trying to grow this community. So you know, let's try to get some more people uh, in on the conversation. Anyway, it's getting really hot out here, and I'm starting to sweat and feel ugly. But anyway, thank you for watching. Uh, like and subscribe, please, and share this out because I really want to try to reach as many people as I can. Anyway, take care, folks, and I will see you on the next video.